my dear brothers and sisters, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and I take this opportunity to congratulate you upon the successful completion of the journey of Lent which we started on Ash Wednesday when we gathered in big numbers. It is a, an interesting day in the life of the church but in the life of each one of us that everyone wanted to receive that sign of the ashes on the forehead. A sign that we are ready to start a journey of renewal. Now this journey that we have been making in these 40 days is bringing us to the climax. This climax is what we call the Holy Week. A week that makes us also holy because we encounter him who is our Redeemer. I invite you to take Palm Sunday as a very important day. Beginning now the celebration of the mysteries of our salvation when we welcome Jesus just as he was received that time triumphantly coming into Jerusalem. So we shall also gather to welcome him. This time not in Jerusalem, but in our own community, in our own life, and wherever we are. And when we have welcomed him, he's inviting us to make a journey. And that is the true journey of discipleship. That we see us now being ushered into a week that we refer to as the Holy Week. A week that in itself is holy because the center is Jesus who comes in the name of the Holy God, but also to make us holy, to sanctify us. The celebration of this day with all our palms as we shall gather to move in procession, to sing Hosanna because he is coming in the name of, of God who is uh, our Redeemer, shall be the normal Sunday program. We shall have the Mass in Uganda at 7 a.m., in English at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. and the 1, and then the evening Mass at 5 p.m., just like any other Sunday, with the emphasis that we welcome Christ who triumphantly entered Jerusalem.